right it took forever to get this to you guys but here it is that finally the uh, the turbine is uh, mounted on a 10-foot tower um, and it's uh, it's in uh, pretty good winds it's rather frustrating I'm sure but I don't have a wind meter so I can only guess what the winds were and I'm gonna guess it was over 20 mile per hour gusts and uh, 15 to 20 somewhere in there but uh, again that's only a guess uh, what you're looking at here and there's lots to talk about here but um, my charge controller had issues so I had to uh, put that away unfortunately I had a barrier strip and a diode so I I hooked that up and did some battery tests and what you saw there was um, the turbine pushing uh, more voltage into a fully charged deep cycle battery and um, there you see it over 14 volts and uh, I got it up to about 15 volts at one point but um, the uh, the open voltage which I show you next here uh, it, it eventually topped out at around 40 volts that's that's about all she's got um, at least with the winds that I had there um, and it might be where the blades top out as well um, but I have a feeling uh, I have a feeling I can probably get a little bit more speed out of that by uh, my next move which is to put larger blades on it and and a longer tail um, we kinda talked about that in the comment section of my last video um, but it does need it does need a little bit more a um, little bit more blade going on there and a little bit more length I believe uh, although it totally works what I don't show here is what happens when I move that over to amps and I apologize I got back looked at my video and I realized I didn't have any but I'll tell you what happens is if I move that over to amps and put that that uh, clip on there it just stalls it out like a brake and uh, you know when the winds really are kicking it'll maintain about 1.5 amps but uh, but there's just way too much resistance with the motor at that point um, the startup is the startup speed again you know I don't have the meter but uh, but it's a strong wind to start that thing up with the current blades and uh, and the tail is like I said it's a little too short you can see uh, in some of these videos where it rocks back and forth that wind is is pretty straight line so I I, I feel like uh, there's uh, there's need for a longer tail anyway but um, larger longer tail but I'll go ahead and put some some bigger blades on there and uh, and we'll see what we get next but um, but beyond that um, <clears throat> there'll be more testing hopefully next Sunday on this and uh, and I want to give a, a thank you to uh, uh, kebdog 36 I believe it's K-E-B-D-O-G 36 a friend of mine who helped me out setting these up out there that uh, that turbine is pretty heavy I'm gonna guess it's around 40 pounds and uh, it's it's great to have another person there to help you out um, with the, the gang wires and everything else so um, there it is um, it's it's flying and it, it works I'm pretty happy with it I just I know that it needs a little bit more work um, especially uh, you know it's maintaining a full battery that's one thing but if, uh, if the battery were low and that thing cut in it would probably stall it out so um, and again um, this is uh, this is made from scrap if you haven't watched any of my other videos this isn't uh, this wasn't uh, made in advance uh, on paper this is just from the hip so um, at any rate uh, thank you very much for watching I'm gonna get some more videos up next Sunday and uh, in the meanwhile thanks for watching <laughs>